BART is reevaluating its plans for extended service now that one of the damaged MacArthur Maze connector ramps is open again. Ridership between Oakland and San Francisco was up 7.4% yesterday, which was a 3% system-wide increase. BART has been running longer trains more frequently, but could resume its normal schedule as we get closer to the reopening of the 580 ramp. Simon Perez is at the work site yet again, where the company hired for the rebuilding project is shooting for completion in 25 days. That's ambitious, isn't it, Simon? Very ambitious schedule. The C.C. Myers company is going to try to get this job done very quickly. They're the company that won the contract for this and hope to make millions of dollars off of it. Crew set up last night and they've been working all day today. Look at schedule. That's how C.C. Myers won the contract to fix the 580 connector, the broken upper deck in the MacArthur main. The first order of business repair the tops of the support columns that were damaged when a piece of the connector came crashing down in the gas tanker truck fire on April 29th. Also today, the work crews began to take measurements to figure out exactly how big a piece of deck they have to replace. It's about 165 feet between the two sections. But when you're talking about putting in a new freeway section, you have to know exactly, down to the last millimeter, what kind of distance you're talking about. The freeway is rebuilt in a sequence. First, the concrete and steel column, then the horizontal concrete bent cap, then the steel girders, and then the roadway. If you drive along the now open 880 connector, you'll see workers over the freeway rushing to get the 580 connector job done. That's because C.C. Meyer stands to make $200,000 for each day under 50 it takes to complete the job. $200,000 per day comes out to $8,333 per hour, $138.89 per minute, $2.31 per second. And if C.C. Myers holds to its schedule of 25 days, it stands to make $5 million. In Oakland, I'm Simon Perez for CBS 5.